taking damage in the fucking building. Gonna continue this tech play alongside. Remember me. here yeah people say all kinds of shit these days and that kind of shit is the kind what hurts an honest businessman like myself on the other hand you know what brings people into my bar gives it a bit of life the fights you look like you can take care of yourself you go in the arena and the place will light up yeah okay anything I should know you're gonna take on some moles try to make a show out of it makes the customers go crazy Are you fucking kidding me? say I really follow you. When you watch someone fight, you know what he's like inside. You're no saint, but you're no traitor either. They meet back there. Go see the guy and give him the password. It's, there can be no rest. Nothing else is any of my business. Thanks, Roy. Thanks to you, I'm finally going to meet them. Thanks. I'll go have a look. Hey, where do you think you're going like that? There can be no rest until they drink of our tears. You may enter. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Forget it. You want to meet the resistance? Consider it done. What do you want? I'll warn you right away that if they smell a trap, they'll kill you. Stop it, Marco. We know who they are. They have no reason to betray us. Really? Even the Renegade? 
I bet he could get his place back at the source if he turned us in. I doubt it. They know me too well and want me alive. They know I'm not made for the source. Roy won't betray you. They want him too. Please, you have to listen. All right, kid. Talk. My parents were militia. When I came back from the Abundance Camp, ruins were all that was left of their home. Poor kid. Almost everyone in the militia was killed in a single night. Not many of them got away. And they're with us now. I don't even know what happened to them. They could have been captured. I don't know. I have to do something. I can't just stand around twiddling my thumbs. You look sincere. And we need people like you. You, on the other hand, don't count on it. I can't take the risk. The Technomancers are too unstable. Marco, we should maybe talk to the others before deciding. After all, he could be useful to us with everything he can do and all. Judy, I just tried to talk things over with the others as much as possible, but I said no. This man is dangerous. I don't trust him. Great. I can understand being paranoid can help in your kind of situation, but you're going a bit far. Please, Roy, let me try and convince them that you're an honorable man. Just give me some time. What was that? An explosion, but not one of ours. That wasn't an explosion. Only a fluid overload could make that kind of noise. The Technomancers again. We should get out of here. That kind of noise will bring a patrol straight here. Let's go, kid. Now or never. I... Roy, sorry. See you soon. Take it easy, kid. I should go see this explosion close up. Righteous. Finally got to meet him. And finally alone. <laughs> Damn, in a sense. Oh, alone fighting them though. God damn. Oh, guess I'm not alone. What the fuck?
Well then. Her? What the hell is she doing here? It won't take long for a patrol to show up. I better get her out of the way. There you go. Looks like she's waking up. Did you really think you could kill my master and get away with it? After running away with your tail between your legs? You thought a weak woman would never come after you, didn't you? Well, that's who she is. Mary, Mary. Like you said, your master didn't give us a choice. You're exhausted and really worked up. I... I feel weak. But when I got here, I was full of anger and power. What has happened to me? You had an overload you couldn't get rid of. Young Technomancers are almost never told about things like that. It makes it harder for them to escape. You were alone, and all that power took over. Now you're empty. You should rest. I feel awful. Like I've been ripped to shreds inside. The overload was too strong. You need help. I'll go find some medicine so you can recover. Oh, I already have that on me. The Here, take this. It'll prevent any internal bleeding and get you back on your feet. I... I should thank you, shouldn't I? If I join you, will you teach me to control the overload? I could teach you how to do that, yeah. Some people even learn to use the overload without suffering too much from its effects. Are you going to sleep with me? Sean did. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Shit. If it happens, I want it to be because you want it to, not because you feel you have to. You could help me a lot, Mary, but you're not my slave. Maybe, but I want to survive. And if that's what it takes, it doesn't matter. See why I shouldn't. The hell? Mr. Temperance, I'm Devotion. General Honor Grant sent me. He'd like to talk to you. Strange kind of invitation, seeing how they're looking for me. I thought I had observed all the formalities. Please forgive me. If you fear for your life, please understand that the General does not currently wish you any harm. Now that's a relief. Are you sure you're normal? I believe so. 
On the other hand, I'm only following the orders I've been given. Given your current, uh, situation, I suggest you go to him through the Tierville Underground. You sure got the right name, don't you? Devoted and calm as they come. Yeah, all right, I'll go. Well, that's how I leave. We're gonna go back to the crash site and see if there's any shit I can pick up. Oh, now I see where I'm at. Okay, I remember. Had to clear that area. So I gotta sneak back through the fucking swamp. Oh my goodness. One crate? Well, better than nothing. I heard they're looking for some fugitive, but that's all I know. Made it back safe and sound. Gotta get back, gotta get back to Mary.
What the hell? Uh. Oh, yeah. I didn't know there's a fucking door right here. <laughs> uh, take the amateur out. 